Hey guys, I'm Forever Game. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Part 55. In the last episode, we made our way to Rito Village, and in this episode, we're climbing whatever tower this is. Um, is this the one where you have to melt the shit? Um, give me this. I think we could do it like this, and it should melt, right? Is it getting smaller? Oh yeah, we could do it like this. Um, can I do it like? I oh, know we don't have any. Go. Link. Thank you. Okay, so we need to go get up on one of them. Actually, never mind. Okay. Um, because I have this, because I have the flame blade out, yeah, I can use this. Yay! And I think we should be able to make it. But yes, you're supposed to, like, melt the ice. You can use the fire arrows, you can use a flame sword, you could probably use a torch. Yay! Yay! I like when he does the extra jump thing. But in this episode, after we do this, I think we're going to go do Hylian Homeowner. Because I think we have 3,000. Yeah, we have 3,000 so we can finally do Hylian Homeowner because we sold all our shit. So I'm very excited. Very, very, very excited for that. Because we need to start doing that quest because it's one of the more extensive quests it leads to him it leads to it leads into another extensive quest so i think we need to do that before we get too far into this i've decided i don't know if i've made this clear i've decided i'm not gonna i mean i still am gonna kind of try to rush breath of the wild we're still doing like more parts a month than probably necessary <laughs> but like i'm not gonna just be like Ugh. I'm not just gonna, like, rush through it so we can get to Tears of the Kingdom, like, on release date. We'll get to it when we get to it. I've decided. Who cares? Like, it'll be here when it's here. Like, mm, whether it be we actually finish this in May or whether it's in July. Like, who cares? It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fun. I'm just not going to rush. I'm not just gonna skip through things on Breath of the Wild just so I can... Make the Tears of the Kingdom release date. Scanning area. I mean, although, preferably, I would love to have it done by the time the Tears of the Kingdom comes out or whatever, but I don't think that's realistic, if I'm being honest. Yay! So we got... I think this is Hebra. I think this is Hebra. Regional map extracted. I think this is Hebra. Did it tell me? Yeah, Hebrew Tower. Um, time to go to Hatano Village. We'll sleep and we'll do this in the morning, obviously. But yay! So excited. We need to go do... Is there anything else in Hot to Know that we need to do? Other than like some of those quests. I think there's some quests in Hot to Know that we need to do. But other than that, I don't think. So we are gonna go. Oh, it's morning. Um, oh, put me in a cute outfit. Give me the snow quilt. Oh. 
Do I have all those things? Oh, we have all those things. We can go dye our clothes this episode, too. We're gonna go dye our clothes before we pull the Master Sword. So we may pull the Master Sword next episode. Okay, and then put me in a cuter outfit for this. Yeah, sure. Mm. Oh no, do this outfit. Cute. Hey! Did you get 3,000 rupees together? Yep. Seriously, you're gonna give me 3,000 rupees? Like, with three zeros? You aren't just posturing? I'll sell out. No way! Talk about studly. I'll take that off your hands. Thanks for the sweet investment. Spending so much money on anything at your age is just so studly. That's so weird. There's a weapon mountain there that never sold. Consider it a housewarming gift. Hope to get some use out of it. Oh. So next job time, baby, what do I have lined up again? Oh yeah, that's what's next. I was going to send Hudson up a Kala, up a Kala way to clear some land. Hylian homeowner. Yay, um, we are going, oh no, give me, give me the light scale trident. Yay, um, do we have enough for another weapon mount? Um, we'll talk to Hudson in a second. Hi! I asked Hudson to clear some land in Akala. Clearing land? Yep, business, ex business expansion, you know. I'll probably have him met out soon. If you want to say anything to Hudson, better catch him before he leaves. Oh, I have to talk to him. Hello. Yeah? What are you doing? Taking a break. By the way, did you buy that house? Yep. Impressive. You're just a pup. Uh, come again? Don't worry about it. Anyway, what? Looks like I've got to head out and leave this place soon. Why? I've been transferred. Transferred? Might have heard, but Bolson Construction is planning a big time expansion. That's great. Yeah, big expansion. Where will you go? Zora's Domain is north of here. We're going north of that, though. The area called the Akala region. That's pretty far. Yeah. Well, good luck. Okay, then. Well, no time like the present, right? I should be getting on my way. If you'd like, you should come to the Akala region and say hello. Well, take care of yourself. Bye. I like that they played that sad little music like I knew him. <laughs> like, I didn't know that man. Can I talk to you now? From the ground up. So that's what we wanted. Hi. So both of us are sort of hit a personal milestone, huh? Time to kick back and get leisurely, baby. Though you look a bit judgmental for such a fine moment. You're looking at me like we should both keep working at it. Huh, <laughs> you don't even have to say it. Oh, why? I just bought a house and it's totally empty and depressing. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. That's you to a T. I see it in your eyes. Yep, I was just like you about a lifetime ago. So tell you what. Let me help by taking care of furniture or the exterior or anything for 5000 Thank God, a hundred. Thank God. Cruise by whenever you have the cash. Hi, need something from me? Build me something. I'd like a gear display. I'd like a weapon mount. 100 rupees. Thank you. Payments due up front. Okie do. The work ain't doing itself. Carson, we are on. Right on. Yay. <laughs> So now we can put Boulder Breaker down, too. Wow, it's really coming along. Take a look and if you get a chance. Give me Boulder Breaker. Oh my god, Link, go. Give me Boulder Breaker. Yay! So Boulder Breaker and the Light Scale Trident. Thank god. Can I do anything else? Uh, build me something. Um, house exterior. Um, let's do a sign. A hundred rupees. Sure. Come on. Hold on a sec, gotta get my mind right. Carson, are we studs of stud work? You're darn tootin' we are. Yo, this is so weird. They're so fun, though. I like them. 
practically perfect if I do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. Yay! Give me this. So now we have, where's the sign? A sign! Link's house. Love that. Um... I really don't know. Oh, I'm so glad this tree regrows. I'm so glad because we need more apples. This is what I meant to do that first time. I just wanted the apples. I didn't care about the tree. Thank you. Okay. Now where do I want to go? Um, Do we have any... Thing we can do for the side quest obviously we have to we have to get all like the extra stuff to do highly in homeowner a moblin club igneo talus a henox um a gift for the great fairy oh we spent all that dude's money it's fine we'll get it back um the stone monuments let's try to do that so we are gonna go I think we should just start down here at a no-go bridge and just try to like make our way up. There are 10 monuments. And I think we just need to go to all 10 of them. I think that's basically what it wanted me to do. So hopefully we can do that simply, hopefully. Um. Oh, we get a diamond for that. I love that. We need to do... So we need to speak to him. And then we just need to find the monuments. Okay. Apparently we've seen some of them. I remember seeing some of them. I've never done this quest. Because I just could not be bothered to go do... All of this again. I just really couldn't. Like, ugh, too bad. Okay, so in Ogo Bridge, we need to go. Give me this. I don't know where all the stone monuments are. Okay, I don't think there's anything in the lake. Fuck you. Through you. Oh, we got arrows. Oh yeah, this is a good place to get arrows, apparently. I feel like I remember seeing that. Nothing. A zap shroom. What is that noise? Oh, I think it's the Octorox. So, we need to just... I guess make our way up. Oh dear! Where are you? Oh, actually yes, give me the traveler sword. We can waste some of this. We need to go. Where are these stupid monuments? Should we have started at Zora's domain and made our way down instead of going up? That deer is dead. I'm now concerned that we should have started at Sora's Domain and gone down. Fuck you. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. We're just gonna pick up all this crap on the way down. Oh, I don't want that Traveler's Bow. So we need to go. I'm choosing to believe that there's going to be several stone monuments on the way. I feel like I remember a few. Right. I feel like there's one like around here. Um, go around. Like there's got to be something. Hmm. 
But I am concerned that we should have gone the other way. Mm. We're going to go from Zora's Domain. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go from Zora's Domain. Because I think there's some in Zora's Domain. I think so. I think there's at least one or two in Zora's Domain. Hopefully. But I think there's one like on the way up. But I don't remember at what point. Like, there's, we've seen several. Like, ooh, I just don't really know where. Give me this. Give me one of these. Oh, drop. Some of this crap. Drop. And give me this. Thank you. The fleet lotus seeds. Okay, there is a monument. Bye. Oh god, I don't know where. Um I think there's one like over here. Maybe he'll tell us. Maybe he'll tell us. The dude. Maybe he'll tell me. Here's the dude. Okay, so... Any sage advice? Oh. Hmm, Link A. What is wrong? Are you unable to find all the stone monuments? I can perhaps tell you the location of a stone monument you have yet to investigate. Tell me. Ah. Blah, blah, blah. Got it. It's in this area here. Below to the south of Ludo's Crossing. The south of Ludo's Crossing. Yep. All the way down there. Um, does this one count? History of the Zora Part 7. The hero who defeated the Lionel as told by King Dorofan. There was a time when the purple... The people of the land threatened by the... By the... I don't know, dreaded beast Lionel who lived on Palmas Mountain. But when Hylian drove the beast back and reordered and re restored peace to the domain. The Zora Helm when in this one in this fight is north of something in the rain in the rains near the lake. It rests there. To honor the deeds of the hero Link. Time has taken its toll. <laughs> I think that's telling me where the hat of the Zora armor is. Okay, so it said Ludo's Crossing, so we need to go to Ludo's Crossing. Okay, this can't be that hard. Hi, Slide On. So I guess we're just going to go. Hopefully. I feel like I remember where that one is. It was like right before, like all those, like with the shock arrows, that little area. I think we died there several times. I thought we would have touched the monument though, but I guess not. Maybe we didn't, it just didn't count because we didn't have the quest. What is the fastest way to get to Widow's Crossing? Aludo's crossing is that bridge. Um, I guess the fastest way is to walk. It can't be that far. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's a stone monument. I don't know if this is the one he was talking about. I don't think it is. Not that. Hardy Truffle, thank you. History of the Zora Part 7, the hero who defeated the Lionel is told by King Dorofan. There was a time when the pe- What do you mean? We've already read this one. Time has taken its toll. Does that not count? <laughs> Nothing. Maybe that one doesn't count. What is that? What is that? 
Oh. Of those. We do need a moblin club. Is that a moblin? No, that's a spear. Who cares? Ooh, leave me alone. Oh, I think it actually left me alone. How lovely. Oh god, there's another one. I don't think any of these actually have moblin clubs, though. I think they all have spears. Ooh, just run. Didn't see me, loser. Um... Is this the way? This was the way to Palms Mountain. No, maybe we did go this way. Hmm. I don't remember going this way. I really don't. I really don't remember going this way. Maybe we just went like around. Oh, there's the elephant. Um. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh. A Korok seed. Yay. How lovely. I did not know that was there. Um. the it's it's south of Ludo's crossing how many of these do we have the lightning bug things um sort 14 I think we have enough so we're not going to catch any give me these. It's it's south of Ludo's Crossing. This is Ludo's Crossing. <gasps> there. There's one. Okay. History of the Zora Part 4, the light skill trident as told by King Dorafan. The queen and I were blessed with a daughter as lovely as a jewel. We named our princess Mipha. To celebrate her birth, the smithy dent presented Mipha with a gift, a mighty spear called the Light Scale Trident. Mipha grew into a bright girl and soon reached the age of receiving lessons from the royal family's order of knights. The whole of the royal guard adored her, especially Sergeant Sagan, who loved her as if she were his own kin. Under Sagan's instruction, Mipha honed her skills and radiance, and her radiance grew along with her skill with the Light Scale Trident. As a champion, Mipha made her people proud. However, once the Great Calamity struck, she was never to return. All of Zora's domain fell into misery. The mere thought of the princess was enough to overcome anyone with tears. As a way of offering her soul repose, they tried to send the light scale trident drifting down the Zora River. But when they did, the trident began to glow, and Mipha's voice rang loud and clear for all of the Zora to hear. The light scale trident and I are one. Abandon your grief and no joy once again. Do not cry, just remember. And so, keeping to her quest on the day of the Great Calamity, the day that Mipha passed from this world, the Zora ven venerate the Light Scale Trident and remember their brave princess. Such is the origin of the Champion Festival. Oh! Mipha! I love Mipha. Best character in the game. It's true. It's true, it's true. Many tried to be her and all failed. Okay, so I don't know where the next one is. We may have to go talk to that man again. But I feel like that's gonna be so terrible. To have to go talk to him every time and then venture. Like just out in random directions. Um where is it? There was one... There was one in this general area. 
Hmm. Let's just go back to Zora's domain and we'll ask him again. We got one! Love that. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I have no idea where they are, to be honest. Like, ooh. Debatably, Breath of the Wild Stone Monuments. Um, where to find the monuments? Okay. So, we need to go... Jesus, that shit's far as hell. Um, oh, we can get there from the Divine Beast. Mm. It is on the path to get to Zora's domain. I knew it. I knew one was there. Oh, that was Monument One too. Okay, this won't. This doesn't seem like it would be that crazy to get to. I think we just have to, like, sail from here. Um, I think it's, oh, is that it? Is that it? But this is not the one I thought it was. Okay. History of the Zora Part 2. The Reservoir... Part 2? Oh. This is not... The one... This is not Part 1. Okay. A Reservoir of Hope is told by King Dorofan. Once every hundred years, the Lanayru region experiences unusually heavy rainfall. The Zora River flooded every time. The tides damage not only our domain, but our people washing away poor souls and causing great suffering and disarray. The Zora King at that time, after seeking aid from the king of Hyrule, rode out to see what could be done. I feel like aid has an E in it. J by joining the architectural genius of the Zora and Hyrule's technological prowess, East Reservoir Lake was swiftly built. Thanks to this fruitful partnership, Hyrule was no longer plagued by those devastating floods. In gratitude, the Zora King promised the king of Hyrule to manage the reservoir at level to protect all Hyrule from floods. Each Zora King has kept that oath spanning 10,000 years. That is why the reservoir signifies our bond with Hyrule. Okay, so, back over here. I'm choosing to believe. I think that was... Hmm. I'm choosing to believe that was Monument... That was Monument 2, okay, so... I think Monument 1 is just, like, above it. I think. Where was... There was Monument 1. It was supposed to be like... Like on this path. Oh yeah, Monument 1. This is the one I was talking about. It's like here-ish. Yep. I remember. Because those electric, that electric path or whatever is right there. They'll shoot, like, electric at me. Ooh. History of the Zora Part 1, the Eternal Zora's Domain, is told by King Dorafam. The rains have blessed Lanayru since ancient times with an abundance of pure and clean water. Seeking a bounty su of such water, the Zora gathered there. Thus, as the legends go, the domain was born 10,000 years ago. The land was also rich in ore, and so a unique form of stonemasonry was developed to create our new home. The domain is one giant sculpture of the feat of architecture that has drawn admirers over the world. Our great domain will ever stand as a hallmark of the esteemed artists who made it an eternal symbol of Zora's pride. Ooh. Okay, so we've got Monuments 1 and 2. Where is Monument 3? Oh, God. Um. Oh, God. I don't even know how we're going to get there. Ooh, probably, probably this way. Ooh. Near the water. Okay. So I think it's down. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. We can do this. We can do this. It won't be that hard. 
Okay, so I think this is going to be the last one we go to for right now, for this episode. So we need to go this way. Yeah, this way. I said Great Zora Bridge is a good place to get that. Okay. I think we should be fine going this way. It's like down somewhere there. Over here. I would have never found these without this map. I would have never seen them. We don't go these places. Okay. History of the Zora Part 3, Miracle of the White Scale, is told by King Dorfan. Our scholars say that in the distant past, Zora's domain had a king with no special talent for the art of war. What he had, what he lacked in skill with a blade, he made up for his, in his love for his people and especially his love for the queen. One day, news reached the king of a horde of monsters gathering in the Zadabon Highlands. The king stilled himself for war to protect his people, but the queen knew how ill-suited for the task he was. Worried for his life, she wove one of her own scales in his armor, hoping that her love would protect him from in battle. It seemed for a time that the tide of the battle favored the Zora and that all would make it safely home. But the cunning Lizzlefall's general saw an opening and seized it, driving the king's forces into a corner. Just when the general's sword was ready to crash down upon the king, a miracle took place. An errant sunbeam reflected from the scale of his armor, blinding the Lizzlefall, stopping the death bro from falling. This was the chance the king needed to rally his forces and turn the tide, taking down the general and securing victory. This came to be known as the Miracle of the White Scale, a scale that only female Zoras possess. It was this miracle that began the tradition of Zora princesses crafting armor for their future husbands. Yay! Okay, where do we need to go next? Back to the Divine Beast. In the next episode, though, I think we'll finish this quest and we may go god i don't know i don't know where we go we may go explore more of hebra no in the next episode we need to go in the next episode we are gonna go dye our clothing and then pull actually so i'll keep that there we'll go we're going to high to know we're going to go to Hatano, and then we're going to dye our clothes at the beginning of the next episode, and then we're going to go, you know, with our outfit. I haven't written down the colors. And then, in the, and then after we dye our clothing, we're going to go pull the Master Sword. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. We may dye our clothing in the, in the episode after that, go to do the Master Sword. Who's to say? Who's to say? And we'll do whatever I want. We'll do whatever I feel the need to do. So, I think that's going to be all... Actually, no. We're going to go end it at our home. Our Hylian homeowner. Because we finally did it. I really like the house. It's cute. I hope there's more quests like this one and from the ground up in Tears of the Kingdom. But I'm concerned that there won't be. But I think... We don't have a door. Jesus. I think that's going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!